What's going on YouTube? Day back again. And today, well, uh, I'm in California dreaming. What Zoids mean to me? That's right. We're going to be taking a look at this guy. This is the Liger Zero Jaeger. Uh, which one? Marking Plus version. So evidently, this is the new version that they came out with that has new markings and everything. Now, this is one that I haven't ended up getting. I have a Panzer in the closet. I have a Zero to go with it. So here's the thing, and I want to make sure and make this clear. With Zoids, they come out with them about every, I want to say three years, and they'll change something up with them and they'll re-release them, but it's always in limited number. So... Anyone that's watching, say, on eBay or anything like that, a Zoids kit that was released a couple of years ago, as soon as they stop producing them, prices just go... <laughs> just wait. Um, if you find one for a good deal that's close to retail, definitely you can go ahead and pick it up. But do not, do not pay the extortion prices that some people... I have seen this one on eBay for two, three hundred dollars, and they haven't even pulled the production run yet. I don't know what the number is. I've heard on some of them they do as little as two hundred, some they do five hundred, but this was actually gotten from Amiami. So if you haven't checked out Amiami, they have a lot of great deals. You are going to pay more for shipping because it ships directly from Japan. Um, it's a great site. I'm not sponsored by them. I wish I was, but they are a great site to be able to pick up things at a discount price on pre-order. If you're into PVC figures, the little figurines and things like that, they are also great because they also have a lot of open box things. And it's not just open box where it's just like, might be crap and it might be scarred. They actually rate both the figure, the packaging and everything else. 99% uh, of the time, the figure itself is fine, but the packaging may have a dent, scrape, something like that, where it's not shelf worthy and it can't be sold as original. And a lot of times you can get it for less than half off. I have a couple I have an eye on. I may end up picking them up. So without further ado, let's take a look. Now, I do have a disclaimer. This is not mine. This is my best friend's. So I'm going to be doing unboxing. He did give, her, give me permission to build it. If... If you guys hit the like enough and you leave enough comments so forth that you want to see me actually build a Zoids and show it on camera, um, you have to do that. Otherwise, I'm just going to ship it to him and let him build it himself. But he has given me permission to build this for you guys. So without further ado, let's get down to the table. All right, so here we are taking a look at the box. This, of course, is the RZ041 number 30 HMM high-end master model Liger Zero Jaeger Markings Plus version. It does have the Takara Tomy sticker on here. Make sure that you end up getting that on yours. Otherwise, yours may be a counterfeit. I've seen them, and they are not pretty. Um, take a die band or something like that, one of the crappy knockoffs of Bandai kits, and add that to this, and yeah, it's it's pretty bad. They're they're pretty warped and everything. These end up being about 12 inches from end to end when they're all built up. And as I said, if you want to see this built up, um, definitely hit that like button and leave a comment down below. I actually have a couple of others that are a little rare uh, in the closet, which I've been given permission to be able to do build ups on. But I just feel guilty about building up someone else's kit as when I know that they enjoy the kits as much as I do. But I've been given permission. So if you guys want to, I will do them. Taking a look at the side of the box over here, you get some information. Now, this is unlike Bandai kits, though, you know, they are like Bandai kits, but they're unlike Bandai kits. These, of course, are from Kotobukiya. And so everything is going to be in Japanese. Taking a look at the other side, you get the layout of the stickers on here. You get some information on the different gimmicks for the suit itself. Let's get this cracked open and take a look inside. All right, when you crack one of these open, it's, it's usually, especially when it's one of these bigger ones, there's going to be a divider in here to keep the bags from shifting around and everything so that the parts don't get scraped up. I have to say, if I had a choice between Bandai and Kotobukiya as far as their kits, Kotobukiya wins like almost every time. Their details on whether they're figures or their uh, model kits are just phenomenal. The panel lines, the details and everything, I honestly just blow Bandai out of the water. Let's take a look at everything that's in here. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. You get 22 baggies, one decal sheet, and one thick instruction booklet. So without further ado, what I'm gonna do is crack these all open like I normally do, put them in order, we'll come back, we'll take a look at the instruction book, and then all the runners, and then we'll close out this video. All right, so here we are with the instruction manual. These instruction manuals are pretty detailed and pretty big, but again, this is the Liger Zero Jaeger Marking Plus version. If you haven't ever messed with a Code BK kit, usually they have on the side here the section layout, and then you can flip through here and find the different sections, head, front legs, hind legs, and find the section that you're wanting to build or if you just need instructions in general. All right, so laying out, I can't give you a whole lot of details as far as this part goes because they're all in Japanese. You have a layout showing you the different colors, some of the different features. You get an order form if you need to order parts, like certain runners. You get layout, so it says for the body one and two, and it gives you kind of a layout here of the different parts and what they look like. I really like the line art that they end up doing. You get the layout of the runners over here. You get some of the instructions. Now, I do have to say where they differ, almost everything is in Japanese, except for the symbol explanation. They actually have what it means, like insert, insert in order, insert strongly, meaning you have to push hard, just different things like that. So that is good. It has you start off building the head. So on page nine and 10, you're gonna have all the head. And as you can see, there are a lot of parts that make this up. 11 and 12, 13 and 14, these are gonna be for the legs, 15 and 16, 17 and 18, 19 and 20, 21, 22, uh, one thing I do want to say real quick is you can, so they have a base kit and the base kit is basically the Liger Zero. And then they have these packs that can get added on. You can get a Liger Zero and then you can get a Jaeger pack or the Panzer pack. And I forgot what the third one is. There may even be four, but you can get those to get added on. And they're just modular that snap on and off. But I don't really know anybody that ends up doing that. 23 and 24, these are just adding the armors onto the leg. So the first section has you just building the core kit and then adding on all the armors. 25, 26, this is adding on the final parts, giving you some line art over here. 27, 28, you get some more line art over here, just showing you how some things open up. And then you get a color guide over here, and I forgot what brand that they end up using on here. Um, I know that they do Mr. Color, and I think that they do maybe Tamiya. But yeah, they give you your percentages to be able to get the colors to be able to match that. 29 and 30 is going to be a continuation of that. Just the color guides of what to use. Showing you how to do the water transfers. And this actually does not have any stickers at all. This is all transfers. On the back page, you get just shots of it in different poses with all the parts open and closed. And I wanted to show you the stickers all nice and up close. I'm not going to take them out of the baggie because, like I said, they are water slides. Kodabikia makes some really nice water slides. And one of the things that's nice about Kodabikia is almost all their kits come with water slides instead of stickers. So, Bandai, get your shit together. One of the little pieces that I've had floating around on the desk is the core. So you get one of these and you can stick it in. I don't know if this comes with a small Zeke or not. I don't think I saw it in the instructions. I think only certain ones ended up coming with a Zeke. Starting off with runner A, this is going to be all in black. This first section is going to be in black and how Kota B Kid does it is instead of like Bandai kits where it's all red in sections and blue, green, whatever, whatever color, um, Kota B Kia will have a tendency of scattering the colors out because it's kind of how it ends up being built, if that makes any sense. But runner A is going to be, uh, I think, chest parts and just various parts. The details that are on here, the details that are on here are crazy. You can see the cable connection over here. You actually get like fiber cable on there. You get a ton. Look at all those panel lines and stuff. I have to get where I get the reflection on there. This is just for the frame. 
there's so much detail. Like if you're a detail whore and you really want to just go all out, <laughs> these guys are it. Runner B, you get one of. Again, this is going to be in black. Runner C, you're going to get one of. Again, in black. D, you're going to get two of. And again, this is in the black. And these are going to be leg pieces over here, some joint pieces. Runner E, this is going to be in a soft blue, uh, like a pale blue. Again, if you can see like right down here where my thumb is and over here, all of the panel lines and everything that are in here. Again, if you want something that will take you a long time to build, and also if you're wanting to paint and detail and just go all out, I cannot recommend a Zoids kit enough. Now we have a whole bunch. These are going to be runner F. There's going to be two of those and these are just small joints and it's in bits. G, going to be more joint pieces. Again in black. H, you're going to get two of. Again in black and these are going to be some hoses, cables. I know this is, these are feet parts on here. Runner I is going to be in a soft chocolate brown. Again, look at all the details there on the panel lines. Runner J. Okay, this is where I have some, uh, like, I don't have gripes with. I just have, like, inserts that I want to tell Bandai. Kodabi Kia gets it right. Like, there's very little, if any, variation in here. No real swirl marks. Why can't Bandai do that? It's still the same injection molding, but why? Why, why, why? These are going to be claws and teeth. Part of the bottom jaw over here. Runner K, you get two of. These are going to be... These are going to be a bunch of pistons and springs, and these are actually coated. So unlike these that are injection, these are injection, and then they're coated with a gold, like it's a soft gold. Uh, this actually looks like Mr. Color, uh, is it pale gold? But this looks like Mr. Color, like right out of the bottle. Runner L you get two of, and these are going to be the caps that go on all the little joints. Runner M you get two of. These are going to be the undersides of like the the claws this is going to be some of the joints over here you get a couple of piston pins runner in this is going to be the visor for the face and the cockpit and this is going to be in a clear orange runner O. this is going to be in a nice vibrant blue um and i think it's kind of washing out a little bit on the the camera up here if i'm looking at it in the monitor but it is a nice like dark just oh it's a it's a great blue and another thing, I don't really see swirl marks versus like I end up getting with Bandai kits. Um, very nice detail, very nice coating on here. You get a little bit. I like. I see a little bit of inconsistency in there, but yeah, it it still looks good. Runner P, I knocked down the brightness a little bit. This on the camera actually looks to be almost a white, but it's actually a cream color, and you just get so many like so many details. I can't rave about that enough. Now you do get. Now you do get another runner that's marked P and this is going to be the pilot figure. Q you get two of. Again, these are going to be in that cream color. Runner R is another vi vibrant blue. Ton of details on here. These are going to be all armor pieces. Runner S you get two of. More of that vibrant blue. Runner T, this is going to be in that soft baby blue again. It's And it's actually a little bit lighter. If I'm looking, uh, let me see if I can fish it out. So this is in one of the blues and there's another one. I can't get to it, it's in the pile. But this is actually a different blue than the other ones. This one has more of a violet tinge to it and it's a little bit lighter. So you get a great breakup and separation of color. Even if you're wanting to just say snap build it and not paint it, just panel line it, you're good. Runner U is gonna be in that same pale blue violet color and these there's gonna be two of these. Runner V is going to be like a gunmetal color, and there's just going to be one of these. Runner W, there's going to be two of, and again, this is going to be in that gunmetal color. Runner X, there's just going to be one of, again, in that gunmetal color. Runner Y, there's going to be two of, and again, in that gunmetal color. Looks really freaking good. Runner Z is going to be one little itty bitty clear green piece, and I'm not exactly sure where that ends up going, but yep, that's Runner Z. And believe it or not, you just get three polycap runners. So not a whole lot of polycaps hold this thing together, but I have to tell you from building, I don't know, I probably built like eight different Zoids kits. They hold together very, very well with just friction. So in closing, you get a mountain of runners, an instruction booklet, some stickers, and a ball that's somewhere on my floor that my cat's playing with right now. Found it. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that. That was a 
initial look and unboxing of the Liger Zero Jaeger, the special color version marking plus. Yeah, I haven't done the original kit, so I can't compare what it what it's like to that as far as the colors and everything. I do like the way that it looks though. If you guys wanna see this built up, I do have permission to do that for you guys. And I'm happy to do so, but you have to hit that like button and leave comments down below. If it hits, I don't know, I don't know. If it hits enough likes, I'll end up doing a build on it and stuff. Um, otherwise, I will ship it off to its owner. I do have several more in the closet that I'm happy to do videos on. If you guys wanna see so, just leave a comment down below. So yeah, that's it. I wanna thank you for your support. If you like this video and you want to see more, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as usual, YouTube, I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace out.